Grab your favorite dancing partner, roll up the rugs, and get ready to get in the swing. Starring Steve Allen. With Ernie Andrews. Pam Myers. Joe Baker. The Dean Collins, Lindy Hoppers. The swinging music of the Frankie Cap, Nat Pierce, Juggernaut. And our special guest star, Patty Andrews. your host, Steve Allen. Hi. Well, sir, we're here tonight to talk about L.A. in the 1940s. What a time that was. Everybody's energy was in full swing behind the war effort. Remember Rosie? She was riveting. And there were posters that warned loose lips sink ships. I had my lips tightened up right after I read that. Even Lucky Strike Green had gone to war. Patriotism, however, wasn't all that had the uh, city swinging. Uh, Benny Goodman was playing at the Casino Gardens. Uh, the Palomar had burned down not long theretofore. Harry James was at the Palladium, and Tommy and Jimmy Dorsey were arguing all over the place. <laughs> but their sweet sounds eased a lot of sentimental journeys, for sure and their trumpets and trombones lifted a lot of sagging spirits. Swing was something definite. It was music you could dance to. In fact, it was music you couldn't not dance to. America went trucking, Lindy hopping, jitterbugging crazy. The music, of course, varied from style to style and from band to band, but uh, when they were in the swing, they swung you high. And we're here to celebrate that time right now, that time and its music and its dance with some of the makers of those memories. Ernie Andrews, Dean Collins and his Lindy Hoppers, and special guest, Patty Andrews. Uh, Pam Myers and Joe Baker are going to be joining me for some laughs a little later, but uh, we'll get to that. Right now, the guys who will keep us swinging tonight are the members of this fine orchestra, the Frank Cap, Nat Pierce, Juggernaut. Here they are.
You know, some of the greatest singers in popular music were graduates of the dance bands of the 30s and 40s. The girl singers were, sometimes anyway, referred to as canaries. And the boy singers, unless they had very high voices, were called crooners. But male or female, when the singer was really cooking, the dancers would often crowd around the bandstand to look up, catch every note. And believe me, a singer had to be really something to keep the jitterbugs from doing their stuff. Incidentally, just about the biggest thrill of my life as a songwriter came back in 1951, just after I had written the words uh, to the old Bob Crosby band's Dixieland classic titled South Rampart Street Parade. I had turned the song over to the publisher. I had no idea what was being planned for it, when suddenly I heard the recording of the number by Bing Crosby and the Andrews Sisters. What a kick. And it still is. A song for us right now by Patty Andrews, the queen of the jukebox machine. Do you hear the beat away down the street? Do you hear the beat little rhythm of a house? We're gonna palpitate when you are marching around, marching around. Wonderful sound. I hate the rattle of the hat. I love to hear the way the drummer does that. What a glorious day. Out of my way. Make room and give me some air. I got some rhythm to spare. We'll all swing high. Swing low. Everybody rocking to and fro. It ain't fast. Shaking it and breaking it, I tell you, they're strutting it, they're cutting it, they're singing it and swinging it, Dad, not bad, I'm glad you sing. Let the drums roll out, let the trumpet call, while the people shout, strike up the band. That South Rampart Street Parade. You know, that song became a standard in the uh, music business. And how about that lyric that Steve Allen wrote? How about him? Yes, Steve! Oh, you're terrific. 
is a beautiful ballad. A song that tells the love story about a quarrel. It was a lover's quarrel. All of a sudden, he leaves, and, well, she's left there all alone with tears in her eyes. And all of a sudden, she begins to think to herself, I can see no matter how near you be you'll never belong to me but i can dream can't i can i pretend that i'm lost in the bend of your embrace for dreams are just like wine and i am drunk with mine i'm aware my heart is a sad affair there's much disillusion
When I was a kid growing up in Chicago, it was a time of great, great music. All the big bands, the 30s and 40s, as we've already mentioned, were playing, and they were on the radio almost every night. Benny Goodman, Glenn Miller, Woody Herman, Glenn Gray, Fletcher Henderson. But uh, even more common were the lesser-known orchestras. Remember Charlie Lesser? Yeah. Hey, yeah good. <laughs> well, you're wrong. There was no such band. But anyway, there were a lot of these bands used to play from the uh, the ballrooms all over the country in the hotels. Remember uh, Frankie Masters in the Midwest? Yeah. How about Ted Weems? Yes. Anybody for Ted Fiorito? There you are. <laughs> but you know, it always seemed to me that the same radio announcer introduced all those old orchestras. And they always sounded something like this. Good evening, Latvians and Germans out there along the radio airwaves. I'm sorry that's not the right key. You want a starting note? There you are. <laughs> yes, friends, once again, here over station WIV from the beautiful Lucille Ballroom, high atop the fabulous Del Mafia Hotel in the heart of downtown Gallup, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen. Just a short 45-minute drive from the ball-bearing center of the world Leverworth, Kansas. The National Broad Jumping Company is sending your way the rancid rhythms of Fletcher Castoria and this makes you want to call the cops music. There he is. <laughs> yes.
Yes, friends, direct from the stunning new laundry room of the glamorous Casper Weinberger Hotel, just a refreshing two and a half mile swim across Lake Michigas. Just underneath the heart of downtown Birmingham, Alabama, ladies and gentlemen, where the old Ohio River beats the Panama Canal to form the St. Lawrence Seaway. It's another 17 solid hours of danceable, principal, horrible melodies on your radio. Yes, sir. And now, there she is, and it does my heart good. <laughs> Little Francine Fiasco asked the musical question, Smarty Pants? <laughs> Thank you, Francine. That was really sickening. Yes, I did. <laughs> Friends, in case you're just joining our jerky jamboree, the Mutual Bum Rushing Company is heaving your way the hair curling selections of Peter Principal and his 12 angry men. That's who they are, friends. Coming to you direct, yes sir, sir, from the brand new locker room of the beautiful Ayatollah Khomeini Hotel, ladies and gentlemen. You know where it is? That's right, just a short haul from the mouth-watering fig fields of the 1934 Mississippi State Fairgrounds on the banks of the old Amazon River, just across from the Pearl of the Orient, Zimbabwe, Rhodesia, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir, yes, sir. The crumbling blockbusting system is unloading its musical trash basket all over your living room rugs. Come rain or come shine. Presenting the brain-numbing selections of none other than John Birch and his society orchestra, ladies and gentlemen. And it all comes to you direct from the breathtaking new men's room. That's where we are. On the 76th floor of the William Ruckels House. On the outskirts of Los Alamos, New Mexico, my friends. Just a thrilling 10-second rocket flight from the cotton picking and chicken plucking center of the great Northwest, Cape Town, South Africa, Yowza. And now turn up your radios, roll up the rugs, and plug up your ears for all I care as we listen to lovely, there he sits in all his splendor, lovely Neil Down, ladies and gentlemen. Singing the, <laughs> look what they laugh at, singing the romantic ballad, How's Your Sister? I was in swimming when, quick as a wink, I was caught in the undertow and I started to sink. When you, wonderful you, were there to save me and I'll never forget, my dear, how you gave me mouth to mouth resuscitation that's what pulled me through mouth to mouth resuscitation brought me close to you i opened my eyes and there you were up above me Upside down it is true, but somehow I knew you'd love me. Mouth to mouth resuscitation, that's what did the trick. It was a strange sensation, did it make you sick? There were people standing around, looking down. Look at us on the ground, now it's sweeping the nation, mouth to mouth resuscitation! Thank you. Oh, sorry Mike. Thank you, Neil, that was really embarrassing. And now, friends, 
Well, yeah, I know he's lovely. Incidentally, friends, if you're tuning in late, congratulations. But what you've been missing is just about this. The American backbreaking system is shoving down your throats the sweetest music this side of Sodom and Gomorrah, ladies and gentlemen. Played for you by the king of Latin rhythms, Judeo-Christian and his illegal immigrants. That's about the size of it. And of course, all coming your way from the freshly repainted broom closet of old Frank Daly's Meadowbrook. Yes, sir, high atop the new flop house Hilton. Built, my friends, with a $47 million loan from the Teamster Central States Pension Fund under very questionable circumstances. Yes, sir. And now Sammy and his Goyam gorillas challenge their chops as our romantic lovebirds. There they sit in all their splendor, ladies and gentlemen. Linda Lipstick and the very handsome Modus Vivendi, they return now to offer this lyrical advice. I can't forget that you forgot to forget what we are forgetting. From the picture, forget it. Now the soaps. they wonderful and folks they're available because they've just been fired <laughs> yes sir you see you're listening to another musical massacre by the old king kong of the keyboard carl klutz and his misguided missiles playing with that delicate touch which is music to the ears of boilermakers all over this great country of ours and it's coming to you from the lovely the lovely interrogation room of the dan rather hotel my friends just a little hop skip and a jump from the international head shop festival in the heart of the nation's quicksand center, Three Mile Island, Pennsylvania, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. Well, friends, the old clock on the wall says that it's time for a new clock on the wall. And besides that, our Saturday night dancing party is on its last legs, and I don't blame you. So until well, next time, this is your announcer, Mike Sides. Mike Sides saying toodaloo, a bit of a tweet tweet, a fond to do, a yakshimash, a bit of a pip tip. <laughs> A punch in the mouth, pleasant dreams, au revoir, some of this, a little off weed is saying good night, goodbye, lots of help, lots of fun, and lots of luck. This is NBK, the National Brainwashing Company. You know, Patty, in those days, a good melody usually had a good lyric. That's right. And you know something, Steve, something you do that I just love. You know that routine where you take uh, all the lyric of some song hit of today, oh, yeah. and then you show us that it has some real poetry to it? I'm glad you picked up on that, yeah, Patty. Yeah, I really I do like feel very it. strongly about that. I mean, it's uh, easy to knock a lot of today's songs. You know, some of them are dumb. But I think often, if you take a good close look at them uh -huh. and separate the words from the melody, you'll find that they make a very important statement. Uh, here's one that certainly does, for example. Looking for some hot stuff, baby. <laughs> this evening. I need some hot stuff, baby, tonight. I want some hot stuff.
stuff, baby. <laughs> this evening, gotta have some hot stuff. I need some hot stuff. I want some hot stuff. I need hot stuff, believe me. Hot, 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 stuff, stuff, stuff. Hot, 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 stuff, stuff, stuff. Hot. I want some hot stuff, baby, tonight. There you go. There you go. Quite a story there. I'll tell you something, Steve. The way you said that, are you doing anything later on, kid? Huh? Of course, you know, in the old days, we didn't have, you know, lyrics that were that crazy. Oh, I should hope to think not, or whatever my mouth is talking about. Why? <laughs> the Andrews sisters would never record that kind of Of course music. not. You know, that reminds me, Patty, I remember one night standing on the terrace of the, uh, the terrace room. That's why they used to call it the terrace room. Oh. <laughs> and I'll never forget, even if I live, I'll never forget <laughs> how moved I was to the very depths of my being, yes. way down in there. By the words to one of the songs you girls sang. They went really? like you know, they went like this. Down in the meddy in the itty bitty pool. Fam fitty fitties and the mama fitty too. Fim said to Mama Fitty, Fim of Utan. And they fam. And they fam all over the dam. Boop, boop, did them, dot them, wadam, a chew. Oh, I don't believe it. That's the important part, the last part. <laughs> <laughs> and you recorded it. Oh, honest to gosh. You want to know something, Steve? Mm. There's got to be a message someplace in that song. I suppose so. But perhaps the greatest example of this sort of thing, Patty, was the lyric to one of the biggest hits that uh, you and the Andrews sisters, sister, sisters, <laughs> Try again. sisters ever recorded. <laughs> And sometimes when things are not going well in my life, when my diction is falling apart, <laughs> when I'm deeply concerned about our nation's foreign policy or any number of serious social problems, sometimes when it's raining out and my white jacket is wrinkled, and I, it's just these difficult times, they come into all our lives. I derive great comfort and strength from these lovely words. Oh, that's nice. Hold tight. Hold tight. A foodleraki sacky. <laughs> Want some seafood, Mama? Shrimpers and rice are very nice. Isn't that a lovely thought? Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> oh, they like it too, see? But you want to know something, Steve? Yeah. You've proven your point. You know, in the old days, they wrote crazy lyrics too. <laughs> I rest my case. And yes. I should I have a very tired case. <laughs> Well, be that as it may, and I don't think it was, I think it was way back in 1975 <laughs> that Leonard Feather, remember him? <laughs> he called the Cap Pierce Plus 15 band the Juggernaut. It was Gus Pavona who said the band was named because Frank Cap walked up to the band one day and said to them, you guys want a jug or not? <laughs> They are indeed. They are indeed an inexorable force behind whatever my mouth is talking about and authentic big band music. And here to prove that point, here are, here I am, Frankie Cap, Nat Pierce, and the entire juggernaut playing bassy style. And this features, and seriously, pay attention to this, Red Holloway and Herman Riley wailing on sax. If they could only play like they wail, what a thrill it would be. <laughs> here they are.
A little earlier this evening, we talked about sagging spirits and uh, how the music of the time could lift them. Well, this next song probably made boot camp a little more fun for a lot of guys. And I was one of them. And we couldn't possibly let Patty Andrews go without a little boogie-woogie bugle boy. <laughs> But man from down Chicago way He played the coolest Righteous trumpet That a cat could ever play He was the Top man at his craft But then his number came up And he was going for drafts In the army now Blowing reveille Because he couldn't jam The cap seemed to understand Because the next to the cap Went out and drafted a band And now the company jumped When he plays reveille He's a boogie boop Bugle boss company B A toot, a toot, a toot to the out A toot, he blows an A to the bar In boogie rhythm Can't blow it out Unless the bass of his tire is Playing with them He makes the company jump When he plays reveille He's a boogie boop Bugle boss company B He was the Bugle Boy Company B. And when he plays Boogie Woogie Bugle, he was busy as a boogie. And when he plays, he makes the company jump into the bar. He's a Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy Company B. Do 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 Every night and wake them up the same way in the early brights to clap the hands and step their feet. Because they know how he plays the song and gives them a beat. She really breaks it up when he plays Reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. Da 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 da
Dasha. There's a comedy chance and he plays Reveille. He's the boogie woogie bugle boy of Company B. Well, sir, you know, it's kind of hard to uh, keep still when you listen to swing music, as we already mentioned. And our audience has been tapping its collector toes for the past hour. One man sitting over here with a little hammer tapping people's toes. Very weird. <laughs> anyway, before we have our last dance and put the rugs back where they belong, please join me now in thanking our wonderful guest, Patty Andrews. <laughs> yes. And Mr. Ernie Andrews. Yeah, Ernie, beautiful. And the funny folks, Pam Myers and Joe Baker. The wonderful Dean Collins, Lindy Hopper. Terrific dancer. And the terrific Frankie Cap, Nat Pierce, Juggernaut. And now we'd like to thank all of you for joining us too. Good night. Keep swinging.